So the question is, right, when you build a system, you know, that's working on a bar that's forming, right? So you're, right, so you're working with real-time data there, uh, right? But a lot of people who build systems that work with the forming bar want to wait for the bar to close, all right? And so the way NinjaTrader is built, you can't mix and match those calculate uh, those you know those two different calculation methods right and so what this is referring to here let's actually open up bloodhound here right so what we're referring to let's close this up is this calculate setting right so Randy has a system here where either his system is running on each tick or on price change right so in other words he's using the bar that's forming right he's using that 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 price data but he wants but he he only wants to see the signal as if the calculate is set to on bar close right and as you can see you can only pick one or the other so ninja trader doesn't allow you to mix and match right but there is kind of a a workaround a trick here uh, that you can do um it's it's basically the same um, as uh, this workaround basically is the same as on bar close but because it is a workaround um, ninja trader displays your signals after the fact right and so that's a little jarring for a lot of people you know when 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 you're when you're used to building a system you know that's using on bar close right you're used to seeing the signal on the bar that actually generated the signal but because you're using you know a calculate that runs in real time you know then what happens is ninja trader moves the signals forward onto the next bar so that is a little jarring and there's nothing you can do about it that's just the way ninja trader works here uh, so let's yeah so let's do uh, let's build a simple little test here. So let's go to solvers and we'll grab a inflection solver like so. There we go. And so the input I'm going to set that to price, and we're just going to look at the closing price of the bars, right? So pretty simple right whenever a bar reverses direction right you get a signal in that bar reversal direction pretty pretty straightforward so let's see yeah there you go we can actually see right price is up and we had an up signal for a little bit and of course if the bar is closing down well we've already you know we already have a down bar so that's not a reversal there we go right so let's see if price will go back up one more time there right we get that All right so how do we wait for that bar to close well the workaround is pretty simple um, and there's an older workshop video on this but I figure it's time to update that older video right so I'm just gonna grab a function node and we're gonna use the look back function node to do this All right so that older video does everything exactly the same way that I'm doing it right now. And so with the look back, this displacement is on, and that's what we're using, right? So we're using NinjaTrader's displacement function as kind of a workaround to waiting for the bar to close. And I always like to name these look backs based on whatever kind of function I'm using there. Right. So you can see that right when I put this displacement on there then all the historical signals right get shifted forward by one bar right so this down bar reversed to an up bar and the signal is actually on the next bar there instead of the right instead of the bar that actually did the reversing it's displaced forward one bar but um, 
Let's see here. Uh, what do we got? Yeah, so this doji did actually close higher. It looks like it closed one or two ticks higher than this down bar, right? And so we have this long signal that's coming from this doji here. And it looks like we're going to get a close down here. So let's, there we go. So we did get a close down. So we can, you can see as soon as this bar opened, we got our short signal. So while historically everything looks like it's late one bar, but in real time, we saw that as soon as this, as soon as this down bar closed and the next bar opened, right, we got our signal immediately. So in real time, you are getting your signals, right, when the bar closes. So, but optically, historically, it's going to look like everything's late. So, but that's how you do it. So that, that's the workaround there, you know, for this limit, uh, yeah, design, fun, uh, yeah, I guess you could call it a limitation. Yeah. So that's our workaround for this design limitation of NinjaTrader. Just use the look back and that's it. So I didn't have to change any of the settings of, of the look back. All right, so that is Randy's question about getting signals when the bar closes, when your calculate is either on price change or on each tick.